welcome back to office 365 series um, last night we checked all these settings in office 365 yammer today we are going to see the user aspect i think the next one was user uh, let's find out so you see yammer is not here they microsoft had really shrunk the <coughs> admin centers here so you have to click on all admin center and yammer is right there it, so we click on it and we are in Yammer so it's we have completed two tasks add a use add your user to their network so we're gonna do the user settings here so we're gonna all do all of that okay give me a second invite invite guest remove count block so I'm gonna like I should bounce bulk update user export user <coughs> So I'm gonna make like a few videos, like uh, maybe two videos here, one video here. Remove and block user one video, account and, yeah, account activity and bounce emails, or on bulk update users, something like that, or yeah, depending on. Let's see how big are those, if it's like different, in my guess. <clears throat> so it's, this can be a quick overview of all the things. Uh, what you can do, definitely this should be different. <coughs> For the sake of uh, you know so I can keep the videos short account activity bounced emails okay bulk update user oh CSV file I can put that I'm gonna put this bulk uh, in the first video with invite user export user should be and profile fields <coughs> I can squeeze export user in the first one video today on this one all right so let's go <coughs> Sorry about that, but the, if you liked, you saw all the um, uh, tabs. So I'm gonna talk about invite user, invite guest. I'm gonna talk about bulk update user and export user. So let's see exp uh, inviting users. <coughs> invite user to the charter network. I can import another. Oh, they even gave the bulk uh, here. So my decision to add bulk user in this video was right and use the invite guest I was just going to invite and invite but they okay so I have a pretty good sense of uh, combining things together import and address book let's see so basically in this screen we can add users name but what is import and address book do we have an address book All right so basically if you have an uh, you have uh, you can <coughs> copy your address book upload it and they're gonna extract the uh, email addresses out of that and send them an invitation you can do the bulk update user as well that is right here we're gonna see that in a um, moment and then you can invite guests so let's see uh, we're gonna um, of course the first one bell the next one should is obama trump bush these are all the user aslan let's see aslan h oh i thought that we could only use um, add six at a time but it you know i if you notice this came back so if i click here and no nothing new came all right, so I'm gonna add Aslan. Oh, you see, right there, another came. Uh, no, Aslan is already there. Ali and Imran. So I think the, it will keep going on. Um, what else user we have? So we have. We can actually tap into our users, active users, and steal some of the name. Alan. 
next one is Bell D. I mean, I'm gonna. So you see, uh, I have to go back and forth and add users. Uh, so how easier if you have like uh, like on just on my floor there are 1700 people uh, I uh, yeah uh, yep about no, not 17 I think it's uh, now it's shrunk down to about four fourteen hundred. 1400 so can you write down 1400 email addresses like this mm. so that's why you need the address book or the bulk CSV file so Bell deployed no Trump yeah push got that Imran got that did I get the Imran no Imran is not oh it's there uh, do you want to <laughs> okay that's enough so we got and they have I hope they have been invited or added I think they <clears throat> with invite user they get an email and they have to click yes have been sent it's not saying they have been added so you have to click on that link and you know um, and if you remember the usage policy that uh, it was saying to accept the policy so it was pretty easy the invite user let's see invite guest what it is okay so what it's saying is that uh, the, it can be accessed of your people that have an email address like this I actually went to yammer.com and you know I tried to enter as, uh, my work email address I did not find any um, um, network so so if you want to invite people who are other so the other way to do is <coughs> if we can add uh, <coughs> like we have to add guest email addresses and then they get uh, notification so I'm gonna add my email addresses here and I have another one mm. let's see what happens I know that's the uh, I already had them so okay that's it I'm trying to think if there are like friend and family's address So this is how we had all the email addresses and they get added uh, so not added they get sent uh, invitations to be part of this uh, group so let's invite all them and see what kind of message we get over here all right so invitation have been sent to six guest users and these are the guest user it's saying so what it's gonna do is as soon as they start uh, accepting it's gonna start um, mm, populating as like the status will change so th the next one is we have no we're not gonna touch that bulk update right so that's the one we wanted to check right let's see address book which you saw the address book that you have to upload uh, it's exactly the same which is bulk that the CSV <coughs> so basically this is very interesting bulk uh, uh, CSV file comma se comma separated value file so I al always could Devabriated by comma separated i you know forgot the v stand for value so comma separated file is that you can actually it's like this new dot update suspended and delete you see actions you have to separate them by a, a comma so each comma tells the uh, system like 
not the file because you're putting the commas in the file the system that reads it that each comma represents that there's a next new value next value so it's like this so you can do the uh, csv in excel as well so if you can see this mimics the excel so but mostly they are in the notepad by separated by comma so what happens is it's saying is that you have these action actions you see right here update suspend delete all that action so action it will say new email address it will provide the email address it will the full name that's the full name that need to be so basically in the file it will be comma 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 and so on so basically it's saying that this is their email uh, it's a new user it has to be his email address is this uh, sorry her and it's uh this is their name is the job title and this is their password but if it's like updating an already existing user it's gonna say update it will give them their old email address <coughs> it will give them name title password and new email address so on so and you can suspend somebody or you can delete an account delete somebody from the so this is the csv so if you have a csv if you don't know you have to do that but you will not be for uh, creating c you might uh, if like you have the system and uh, like uh, from the exchange you have to download it or from any address book but it's very easy i look i don't have a i don't use uh, outlook for sending and receiving emails otherwise i know there's a way that you can actually export your address book to a csv i did that but wait but that was way back when i was learning um 20 years ago so <clears throat> so this is the thing choose update option like what what you want to do with them right and you browse it you go to the file upload it oh there it is that csv and i have no idea what's inside and you bulk upload it this i think column header are important see it was a csv file i don't know which program or when i created but <coughs> basically it was not good enough it had to be in this format since it was not so it gave the error but that's how you do it <coughs> the last thing is export user we can export all user or all users since that time for, so there you have two options and it will basically um, export them in CSV so I can make a follow-up video once I have all the users signed up or clicked on their links and they are in then I can do and show you the CSV <coughs> so export all user or all users since the time that you you define the time here like uh, uh, for example just imagine that maybe this uh, yammer was started last year in january so you will see the put sorry twin you say after it was started in january and it's been a year so let's export all those users or maybe it was started in 2018 and you had done the export last january and you want this in another january and you want to uh, export all the users ever since so this is how you do it i'm going to do the export all user export and see let's open actually windows explorer let's see uh, it's a zip file and users it's only one kilobyte so there is not going to be much in it let's see notepad so you see everything is separated by comma and they uh, they are in an inverted com uh, commas as well so basically you the, each comma represent that it's the next uh, field or whatever and you see it's the name and it's actually giving all the user i think ali is there admin is there and who else is there i think only two users right now ali and that yes so each line is yes so each line is a user that's good so you see so for your eyes it's very overwhelming but for the computer or for the system that's going to read it it's going to just go with the commas and keep adding those values <coughs> 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 
so let's go back to uh, wrapping up this video I'm gonna make the, another video about what's uh, tabs I left so if you with this video has helped you please rate comment like subscribe and share and you have a good night